If you want to transfer data from your old phone to your Samsung Galaxy A25 5G, you have several methods to do so. For instance, we can use an app that we have already installed on our device, and that is over here in the Samsung folder, the smart switch. So if you go to this app, we can scroll down just a bit to continue. Scroll all the way down and choose to allow. And now we can choose to send data or receive data. In our case, since we want to transfer data from our old device, we want to receive data on this device. And if the battery is low, then we will be asked to, um, to charge our device. Now over here, we need to select what is our old device. So if you had iPhone or iPad, then you need to choose this option. And of course, if you had anything else that is another Samsung Galaxy or any Android device, then you want to choose this one. You can transfer by using the USB cable or wirelessly. I'm going to choose wirelessly. And now our device will try to connect with our old device. However, to make it possible, of course, we need to have smart switch app on our old device as well. So we can tap over here, get smart switch on your old device, and then we can choose um, other Android phone or tablet. Of course, unless you had a Galaxy, then you choose the other option. And we will see the QR code that we can scan on our old device on our old device in order to download it. If you have issues with the QR code scanner, then you can simply go to the Play Store and you can search for Smart Switch. So simply type Smart Switch and download this app over here. And on your um, old device, you should follow the instructions after you open the app in order to finalize this process. And after that, once you are connected, once these two devices are connected, that is your old phone and this new one, you, know, you should be able to select whatever you want to transfer. Now, in addition to that, if you don't want to use the smart switch for some reason, there is another app that I like to use in order to transfer data, and we can find it in Play Store as well. So this time we're going to enter um, the send anywhere text. This is the name of the app that I'm talking about. And of course, once again, we need to install it on both devices in order to be able to transfer data. Now, the reason why I like this app is because it is pretty intuitive. We can transfer pretty much everything from Android to Android, including apps. So if you want, if you don't want to install apps one by one by yourself and search for them in the Play Store, then this is a pretty good way to transfer uh, these apps. All right, so once it is downloaded, we want to, of course, open it. And we will need to grant some permissions, of course, in order to be able to transfer files. First, we need to select that we agree to terms and service, as well as privacy policy, and press confirm. Let's grant access, press allow. Notifications we can allow as well. Updates, we don't need to agree to updates. We can select not now and then OK. We can also use Wi-Fi Direct if you want to. And OK, now we can start using this app. So how it works is pretty straightforward. Over here, you have the list of everything that you have on your phone. So let's present that this is our old phone and we want to transfer something. We can simply select whatever we want to transfer. We can go through different categories in order to select photos, videos, audio, and so on and so forth. And then once you are done with selecting items, you can press send over here. Now, over here, you will see a code that you can enter on your Galaxy A25 5G. That is your new phone or the QR code and where you want to enter this code. Well, if you go back at the bottom over here, you have these options and you want to make sure that you have it set to receive. So once you select receive over here, you can enter the code, the six digit code that you had seen or that you see on your old phone, or you can press this QR code icon in order to open the camera and scan the QR code instead. And after that, you will begin transferring those data or files. And that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.